Hey guys, how's it going? I'm hiding in the car to do this intro to the video for you because I'm now explaining what I'm going to do and Andrew and I can't hear. I'm going to London for work, but while I'm there, I'm picking up her Christmas present, which is a complete surprise. So I had to film this little bit out in the car as I'm about to leave and go get a lift just so she couldn't hear it. So uh, you guys get to come along on this ride as well with me. But first, ferries, trains and all sorts of things into London. Trip back into London and actually it's all feeling good at the moment. Got to love the absolute difference between rural France and London. What you see out the windows, very, very different. It's nice to see people out and about in London now the lockdown has come to a brief end. I've actually picked up Angelina's present and I just think I need to probably just explain why I'm doing it. The This year has been very, very weird for a lot of us and I think we all think differently uh, at this time at the end of this year than we did uh, this time last year. One of the main things that I, it's made me think of is freedoms that we take for granted and the feeling of freedom. The car, being able to go where you want, when you want, it was the ultimate symbol of freedom to me. And uh, coming from Cornwall, I think it was my van, you know, my little camper van, my surf van, which was what made me think of freedom most because it was where Angelina and I, and then Angelina and I, the dog lightning, we went off camping. That was our part of freedom. We do whatever we want. If it wasn't for that van, then we wouldn't have been able to come to France camping, then fall in love with France, then eventually find the chateau, find we couldn't have moved here, we used it to move, we did everything with it. And I genuinely thought that that's something when we would keep forever, I'd be taking my kids on holiday camping in it and show them the same freedom that I enjoyed with it. Uh, sadly, we don't use it very much anymore. And this whole you know, thinking about freedom and being able to feel um, a little bit normality. I realised Angelina has never actually owned her own car, ever. And knowing how much a car means to me, um, I thought it was time she did. And if there's a particular car she likes, it was her first ever company car, certain car, certain colour. I don't particularly like them, they're not my thing, I like big cars. Uh, but she loves them and I thought what better when I'm traveling a lot when I'm all over the place both with work and obviously filming our Chateau Rescue project with Billy what better way to make sure you still feel free than having your own car so that's what I've got her I've managed to find a, a deal for my van sadly that's now going 
but uh, Angelina having the freedom that maybe the van signified for me is more important than me having the van. So I've got her her favourite car in her favourite colour and uh, hopefully she'll love it. It needs a bit of work, which I'll do, and it was cheap um, because it was a deal on the van. Otherwise, I couldn't have afforded it with everything else going on this year. It's not like we're suddenly making loads of money. Quite the opposite. It's just a deal came up with something that I'm not using, so it made more sense. But you know what? I'm sure she'll love it. Off the ferry and then drive for three and a half hours to get to home. Along the way, not a bad little sunrise to watch. can't go and give Angelina her present filthy from the road it would be a bit rude so it's time to wash it and I've got to sort out a bow that's even more complicated I can the washing I can do let's do the washing cleans up pretty well I do hope she likes it but uh, now I've got to put a bow on it okay does this make any sense to you Pull the string, pull the string. Mm. Oh dear, this is going to be complicated. Um, that was actually more stressful than you think. Right. Now I've got to go and stash the car somewhere, put this on, and uh, then convince her to get out of the house even though it's freezing and raining. I've got to go and get it in. I need help getting stuff the generator, Anne. You wake me up this early morning just so we can get some snow shots. Yes. Snow shots, exactly. Ice yes. Oh, okay, Ooh. come on, go. A oh, gate, open the gate. Because it's out there. I need you to go and open the gate and get the bloody help me with the thing. What's right there? The generator. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be bubble. I'm going to be independent. <laughs> of course it's wet. Happy Christmas! That's so cool! That's literally the most awesome present I've ever had in my life. Well, you've never had your own car. You've never had your own car. Wow. Yeah. No, I've never had my own car. It's always been someone else's. Yours in the companies. Thank you. Wow. Oh, it's leather. Partial leather. I can't tell because my eyes are cold. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so drive it in then. No. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. I'm going to open the gates and get the bow out of the thing. So I am sorry for 
dragging you. It's very difficult. I'm sorry if I break your TV screen right now with my face. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is like Phil dragged me out of bed because I said let's go and film some snow because it's snowing, and then he's like, oh, can you help me get the generator in? And there's a car instead of a generator. That's so with cool. a big bow. Yeah, with a massive bow. That's sort of... Okay, so this car is a first car that I really love that a company gave me years ago for a company that I was working for. And I love it. And I always had fond memories of this car. And I traveled a lot in this car. I went on holidays a lot. So this is really nice. But this is an upgrade because look, it's leather seats. So it's like the uh, executive car. <laughs> This and, is nice. And this is your first ever car that's yours. This, yeah, and it's going to be yeah my first ever car that's mine. Not Phil's. Not company cars. So he's nice. And it's the right car. And it's my own as well. I don't have to share it with you. Well, I'm going to use it occasionally. Only to buy some food shopping. Well, you know, you never know. Yeah, this is so cool. I'm so happy. Like, yeah. this is really, really awesome. Thank you very much. This is awesome. Um, yeah. But obviously it's not Christmas yet, so now I'm going to go put it away and you can have it on Christmas Day. Okay. Well, you know, like, there's like all these people watching it here with much better cars or whatever, and they're just thinking, oh God, I wouldn't have bought that or something. Why is she so happy about this? I love it. It's not basic. They're, they're, they're designed like this. It's not basic. No, but they, they, you know, it doesn't distract you. And I love that. I just love, get to the point, get me A to B, no faffing around. You know, that's that's me. That's me. me I am in the good books then for this. You are. You've been a good Christmas elf. I've been a good Christmas elf. It's kind of like Christmas and birthdays and all sorts of things rather than to one, but yeah, you guess you it. have been neglecting me. I have not. Yeah. He's given me a present that he took away. I did not. You did. Well, if you're not careful, I'll take this one away. <laughs> See? But to be fair, it's much better than receiving socks off my mum, so. Exactly. Okay, right, do you know what? Let's go inside. Yeah. If you're happy. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Oh, you, let's on. film some snow. Come go on. Let's film some snow. Let's yeah. go film some snow. Bye. Go. Don't forget your key. Oh, yeah. Bye. My plastic. Do you love it? My new car, yeah. I fear this might become our go-to car because it's way better on the mileage. Uh, run well shops and back maybe it just means that you're gonna have to do the shopping oh. <laughs> I'm a recluse I don't like leaving the chateau <laughs> okay I need to go in and get warm yeah come on come let's on go. let's go let's go let's go thanks for watching guys I think it's safe to say she likes it as much as I hoped she would uh, now my favorite van to go in the thing I've always enjoyed I really hope that's true. Anyway, joking aside, I'm, uh, I'm really happy she's uh, as happy uh, as I'd hoped. Thank you all for watching. Um, your support through the likes, comments, the shares really, really helps. And of course you guys that uh, do watch some of the ads. Listen, it's, uh, it's really, really nice to have the support from you guys out there, um, especially this difficult year. So it's as always, it is a genuine heartfelt thank you. We obviously want to thank our patrons. You really do help keep the channel going. So thank you. And of course, everyone that has bought us a coffee. If you would like to look at our patron page, the behind the scenes stuff uh, that we offer, discounts, merchandise is coming, that sort of thing, or our buy us a coffee page, the links are in the description below. As always, absolutely no obligation. We just thank you for watching. Special thanks to our a very special patron, Michael Pluett. Thank you so much. And of course, our VRQ patrons, which should be rolling past your eyes now. I'm back. Thankfully, it looks like it's the last bit of traveling, if not one brief day uh, or two uh, away for Chateau Rescue and uh, a quick one to the UK. Hopefully I'm now here until the new year. So I'm looking forward to getting on with some of the stuff here with Angelina and getting a few projects knocked out for you guys to see as well. But so looking forward to that. In the meantime, thank you all so much. I'll see you next time.